45,000 dock workers preparing to strike if they don't reach a deal by midnight tonight. Jeff Flock outside the port of Newark, New Jersey. How's this affecting uh, the truckers? How's it affecting them? It is crazy for the truckers right now, Stuart. If I can step off here, maybe you see this is a line of trucks. And I, I don't know if Scott's able to spin around. This is into the port of Newark, and there are multiple ports in there backed up trying to get in this one truck there has got obviously trying to get a load they're trying to get everything out of the ports as quickly as they can and a lot of these truckers i'll tell you if this strike comes off and it certainly looks like it will they're not going to be working if there's a gene uh, uh, la fortune has been driving at this port for 40 years yes sir 40 years if you don't work if this shuts down tomorrow what happens to you i don't get paid because i get paid de uh, daily if it's shut down, that means I got to wait whenever they settle. Then uh, whenever they start moving, that's the time I'm... Because you get paid only by the load, right? Yeah, by the load, yes. He drives for IMC Logistics Store, one of the, the biggest uh, intermodal freight companies in the country. And again, everybody's trying to get into the port and get stuff out as quickly as they can. Uh, we've got a picture from their terminal, IMC Logistics Terminal, not far from here. That is is littered with these, uh, you know, these uh, uh, trailers. Uh, uh, they've tried to get everything out of the port as quickly as they can, so that uh, nothing is trapped in there. Because if this strike goes on for weeks, basically, anything that's still inside the port is not going anywhere until that strike is over. Uh, one piece of breaking news here, and this is unconfirmed, but we've been told by multiple sources now that one of the ports, and maybe Scott gives us a spin around one more time to look toward the port, one of the ports has already been shut down. That is because the workers have said, you know what, uh, this strike is happening, we got to be back at midnight for the picket, and it's been shut down. So that's unconfirmed, but that's what we believe here. Multiple ports in the ports of New York and New Jersey uh, it's a mess out here, but you might have expected that, and the mess is maybe only more to come, depending on how this plays out. The clock is ticking down toward a possible strike by dock workers that could have severe repercussions for the U.S. economy. Thousands of dock workers at ports from Maine to Texas could walk off the job tomorrow if a contract agreement is not reached. The sticking points are better pay and job protection from automation. A strike could affect nearly half of the nation's imports, leading to a massive supply chain disruptions and surging prices. Analysts say a dock strike could cost the U.S. economy about $5 billion a day. While President Biden has the authority to intervene, administration officials say he is not planning to do so. CBS News New York reporter Tim McNicholas has been covering this story for us. Tim, you've been following the developments. What are the sticking points? Lindsay, the biggest issues in this negotiation are wages and automation. I'm told that these two sides are at an impasse on those issues, and at this point, a, a deal is unlikely. Governor Kathy Hochul, the governor of New York, just spoke in this building behind me here at the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey headquarters, and she said that she is fully expecting a strike. So that means 47,000 dock workers will walk off the job if the International Longshoremen's Association and the U.S. Maritime Alliance do not reach a deal today, Lindsay. If dock workers strike, what will be the impact on the nation's supply chain? How soon could we start seeing shortages or price spikes? So economists say that this could be the biggest disruption to the flow of goods in and out of the U.S. since the height of the pandemic. I want to put this into perspective for you here. Governor Hochul, for example, just told us that New Yorkers should maybe, if they're planning on buying a car this week, they might want to call the car dealership ahead to make sure there are no issues with that. But she also urged people to not overreact. She said that she's not expecting a shortage of essential goods anytime soon. She also said that some distributors have been stockpiling goods to make sure that the, the impact of this is, is mitigated or limited in some way. So just to put that into perspective, there will be an impact here. We spoke to the owner of a grocery store in Brooklyn, New York, over the weekend, who said that, for example, he expects his banana shelf could be empty within a week of this strike because most of his bananas are imported. So there will be an impact on fresh fruit. But as far as essential goods, Governor Hochul just said that pharmaceuticals, for example, she said people don't really need to worry about that too much because most pharmaceuticals are brought into the U.S. by plane, Lindsay. What if that could happen on the overall U.S. economy? I mean, that that figure, five billion a day. 
So economists have told us that even a two-week strike could cause issues and disruptions to the economy into the next year. Now, there is some good news here as far as something that might be on a lot of people's minds right now, holiday shopping, those toys and those those toys that people want, the presents that they're trying to get for their kids, things like that. Most of that is already on uh, in the warehouses and, and ready to go here. So there won't be a huge impact in that regard. However, there could be some impact to fresh fruit down the road. There could be some impact to fish that's imported. There could be an impact in the grocery store, and that could in turn affect prices, Lindsay. Tim McNicholas, thank you so much for joining us. If an agreement is not reached by later today, Ports from Maine to Texas will face a strike 40, 47,000 workers, 4,500 of which are right here in the New, New, York, New York and New Jersey area. And we represent the largest port on the East Coast, the second largest in the nation, so uh, the busiest in the nation. So I want to be clear. I urge US, MX, and the ILA to come to an agreement that respects workers that ensures the flow of commerce through our ports, and the stakes are very high. The potential for disruption is significant. Uh, we've not had an event occur like this in our ports since 1977, and that lasted 12 days. We're deeply concerned about the impact that a strike could have on our supply chains, especially when it comes to critical goods like medical supplies and others.